So I just downloaded this Tripo SR demo. I'm running it on a 3090 Ti, Ubuntu 2022.04. Uh, it was very easy to install in a Conda environment. Now I'm using it to make car models just because that's something that I find interesting. And we're going to see how it performs. So we have the input image, we can remove the background and it removes the background automatically very well. And then you see it generates a 3D model. Now, this may not look so impressive. However, as somebody who likes to dabble in low poly game development and things of the sort, this looks like a PS1 style graphics aesthetic. And you can see how fast that actually generated it. Now it says here that the result is unsatisfactory. Please change the foreground ratio. So let's put that way down and this will make it less detailed. You can see it does not pick up as much detail, so we'll bring that back up. Do it once more. Also, you can see how fast this is going. And this is a 3090 Ti, and it's using half of the VRAM, only 100 watts right now, not too bad. This is really quite impressive to me. Now what I want to do is 3D print one of these results just to see. So I'm going to save that. Good, it saves it as an object file, OBJ. Let's do one more. Uh, let's think of something else. How about a, a vintage Macintosh? I'll try to find one with a opaque or single colored background. This looks good. Oh, <laughs> that is a 3D model, $199. Well, let's uh, see if we can make our own for free. Don't sue me. saved. There we go. Let's try it. <laughs> wow, that's uh, definitely not as good as what you'd get on that website, but just as a proof of concept. Just the fact that the keyboard and mouse are also included in it, so it's got a lot more to deal with than trying to get some of the cable here, which is making this artifacting. I'd say this is rather impressive. So let's drop that into Fusion 360 and see how it looks. As I do have Fusion already open here. Mind my tripod. Pod this, please. I uh, have this open. This is something I'm working on. It's just a little arcade machine like that. It's not done yet. So now let's bring that file up. <laughs> oh man! So you can see it's definitely uh, a bit. Less detailed in here, obviously, because it doesn't have the texture that came in with it. However, this is still pretty cool from a technological standpoint. While this may not look like anything special right now, imagine the future of this technology and the fact that this was an open source release right now that me as a hobbyist was able to get running in about 5-10 minutes on my local machine without needing to have any insane hardware or anything of the sort. So honestly, I'm just gonna drag this into Bamboo Studio and we'll print it and see what happens. Yes, 
this I would like to scale it okay so it comes in very small it's quite all right flip this down here and we will scale this uh, let's do 330 percent wonderful and we can just do a quicker preset floating regions so we don't know how close this mesh is but we're just gonna try it oh floating regions just means because I'm not doing support underneath it it's just that a simple uh, tree support that warning should go away awesome so the mesh is closed which is nice so 50 minutes to print I will send this off to the printer got it loaded here So in theory, from initial photo grab to physical 3D model should take about 60 minutes total, so an hour should be pretty neat. Alright, you can see now it's just finished. So I'm going to see if I can just pull it off the build plate. It is a spring steel plate, but it's super warm, and I just figured this might be easier for the time being. I always did prefer the razor blade approach. There we go. All right, so let's see if we can get this to focus. Well, like we saw in Fusion, it's not necessarily extremely detailed, however, just based on the underlying technology and the fact that we were able to do this so quickly, things of that sort, I think this is pretty cool. It reminds me of the early days of 3D printing, how some of the models would love coming out of the printer. I'll see if I can get the supports off. Not easily. Well, that's okay. So that's basically the first initial test. And imagine in a few years where this technology will be exciting.